You think they at us? Do they have another dominating vampire? If they do, I'm going to be a little bit mad, you know? Just, just a little bit mad. That, that would be very, very annoying. They do. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. Come on now. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Mattress Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Malone, why the heck are you looking exactly like yesterday? What is wrong with, well, you know me. I'm here from, from the, the past. past. Because my yesterday is your today. Because I will be recording more videos today than per usual. Because I will be leaving to see my band on the weekend. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the almost unstoppable hammering. Today we're playing Fire of Angels. Angel Fire Ignition is such a nice card. It gives a creature Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, Indestructible, and Haste. Like, seriously, why? And if this weren't enough, you even put two 1-1 one -one counters on that creature for three mana. Like, what is this? I know it's a sorcery. It's not an instant. You're like... Do this, and then your mana is gone, though. But wha what the heck is this? Like, what the heck is this? You know, and it just, I had to play it. And we even have some new cards in this deck. We have the Kumano, which is super nice. It deals one damage to each opponent and each planeswalker. I tend to forget that. Then when you cast the next creature spell, it ends with a plus one plus one counter on it. So that means that you, if you play the Kumano into Fireblade Charger, now you have a 2 2 Fireblade Charger. Or you might also have a, where is it? A 2 2 Luminarch Aspirant, a 3 3 Tundra's Orator, a 3 2, you know, and so on. But it's even better with the Lizard Blades. Now you have a 2 2 Double Striker that later on you can make big and strong, give put down the Ancient Fire Ignition. Now you have a Living Amber Cleave. It's just freaking crazy. Why don't I have the awesome Marriage style? I would get it later. So, that is super good, you know? Fireblade Charger, Battlefield Raptor are just our one drops because we're a super aggressive deck. Yesterday we played 25 lands, today we're only playing 23. Keep that in mind, only 23 lands. So, what are other new cards? Well, the Lizard Blades can give a creature double strike. So if you put this on the Venerable War Singer, you're super freaking happy. Because now it has double strike, and each time that it deals damage to an opponent, you can get a creature with mana value X or less where X is the damage dealt out of your graveyard onto the battlefield for freaking free. And if you have a Liz Blades on it, well, it's two creatures. That is, yes, you had right, two creatures for just attacking in. That is so freaking amazing. Then we have the Kami's Flare. It deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker and two damage to the permanent controller if you have a modified creature, which we will always have because the Kumano, we have the Luminarch Aspirant, we have those Lizard Blades, you know, all of that shebang. The Angel Fire Ignition gives us plus one, plus one counters, so that also makes our creatures modified. And this, on the other hand, is an instant, so that is pretty freaking sweet. We have the Showdown of the Skulls, which also modifies our creatures and helps us dig through our freaking library. And as a finisher, we have the Blade Freaking Historian. The Blade Historian is so good with so many of these cards. Not only does it give Double Strike, which is super good, and as we're playing only red and white, we always will be able to pay it. This now. Trample with double strike, insanely good. Can give this one, freaking trample. If you have two or three Kargan Intimidators, you can give all of your Kargan Intimidators trample. Now there are three ones with trample and double strike. That is just disgusting. So, now we have to talk about one of the most important cards in the deck. It gets a spot here. The Thunderous Orator. I have never played this card. I was looking for double strike stuff and I've seen this and was like, what is this card? When it attacks, it gets flying, first strike, double strike, death touch, indestructible, lifelink, menace and trample as long as another creature you control has the same. So that means if you attack in with the thunderous orator, one of your creatures has Trample, now it gains Trample. If one of your creatures has Double Strike, now it gains Double Strike. And if it has Lifelink, it gets freaking Lifelink. If it has Indestructible, it gets Indestructible. So you target whatever you want with the Angel Fire Ignition, 
the Thunderous Orator gets the same. It is just freaking bananas. The only thing it is not true for is haste, which is okay. Absolutely understandable. But it is still so crazy. So freaking crazy. So if you have a thunder, uh, your Battlefield Raptor on the field, you attack it with the Thunderous Orator, now it gets first strike and flying. Just for having a Battlefield Raptor. If you give your Krog an Intimidate a trample, now it has trample, like here. And all of these things. All of it. It is just so freaking good. So the Thunderous Orator wins you games by its own. You could put four in, but you know I had to cut something for the Kami's Flare, because you always kind of need something to get rid of their creatures. Like if they have the uh, Exile Target Creature Creature, you want to get rid of this with that. So yeah, that is what it is. Land-wise, we do have two Cave Frost Dragon and two Dan of the Bark Bear. Together with the Blade Historian, they're just super tasty. And we have two Iganjo, so that we can destroy it like blocking creatures. Because if we have Trample, and we deal 4 damage to a blocking creature, and that creature is gone, the Trample damage still gets through, which is freaking amazing. And the Sokken Sun? Actually pretty good if you have a Blade Historian. Because now these have Double Strike. So why the heck not? Then we have 4 Needle Verge Pathway, and yes, 4, because I learned my lesson. And for a Sundown Pass, 4 beautiful mountains, 3 beautiful plains, and that is it. If you pump your Fireblade Charger, and they wipe the board, you just destroy them with the Fireblade Charger. That is just freaking amazing. So good. So freaking good. I love this deck, and so should you. It is super good, it is super fast. We'll get six to seven games in today with this in the normal amount of time. So strap in for a long freaking day of Matches Malone. I am Matches Malone and I will see you in those fiery games. All right, let's see if we can rampage our way through freaking diamond. We're up against no fear. Well, you should fear me. You should fear me. We're going first. I kind of like this hand. As long as we don't find too many lands. Like, we only have 23 lands this time. Yesterday it was... Oh, come on now. I just said as long as we don't find too many lands. And now you're doing this to me, first card is land? Get out of here, game. Against runes? Right away? Okay. Well, what you gonna do about it? But get a lot of freaking life here. And we will do exactly that. Get a lot of freaking life. Alright. So what you gonna do now? Exactly. Nothing. Nothing I tell you. So next turn we play the Shoulder of Skulls. I mean we still do have the Double Striker here. The Rune for Champion. How unexpected. Uh, who would have thought that it is a Rune for its Champion right away? Oh I sure wouldn't have. I sure, sure wouldn't have. Alright. We're going like this. We're going like this. And uh... We are still attacking in. If they want to lose the Spirited Companion, that is fine by me, you know? We still have this Angel Fire Ignition for later on, so... That is super good. Alright, now... Bring down your green-white creature that makes all of your runes cost zero. I, I just wait here. I just sit here and wait for it. It is one million percent what will happen. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. But how many more runes do you have? That is the only question that I have. All right. It doesn't look like you have too many. This doesn't look like it. Shouldn't have played land here. Oh my lord, what even is this? What? What even is this? Like, get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. Yeah, right. Of course. Why not? Come on now. Really? Really? Oh gosh. Okay. So... I'm pretty sure that they will have their own, uh, you know, showdown of the skulls here now. Is that fun by me, though? Yeah, it kind of is. Kind of is fun by me. I do have this Angel Fire Ignition, and I do have a lot of things to do beforehand. So, yeah, that's right. That's all right. Okay. Go ahead. Get all the life in the known universe. That is fun by me. Holy smokes. <laughs> Seriously. This uh, Seed of Aiganjo was just a little much. Alright, are you attacking in though? Are you now? Oh, you still have more runes? Unbelievable. Like, that is how many? Four in one turn now. Four in one single turn now. Insane. In 
freaking shade. Alrighty. So this will also get haste. So that is pretty freaking sweet. That is pretty freaking sweet. Alrighty. Oh freaking righty. So what you gonna do now? It doesn't get the haste? Well, that's still alright. That is still alright. I still get the angel fire ignition afterwards. And I can still do stuff. It's not like I don't, you know? I still have the uh, Cargan Intimidator here. And they already played four runes. Oh, come on now, really? You really had to find it. Now watch him play another rune for its champion. It's always the same with this deck. It is just always the same. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, watch him draw four runes here. Well, there is one rune. And borrowed time. Okay, well, that is good. That is kind of good. Well, it's kind of super bad, to be honest. Kind of super bad, but hey, we're still alright. We're still alright. We'll still get in for a lot of freaking damage here. They could have played the other rune. I don't know why they didn't. I don't know why, but we will find out. We'll have to freaking find out. Alrighty. So. Put this one here. Angel Fire Ignition onto the Lizard Blades. And this one here as well. Good. Real good. And then we just freaking attack in. You know? Still gaining a lot of stuff here. A lot of freaking stuff. This is... Double Strike and Trample, my friend. Double freaking Strike and Trample. Yeah, okay. Alright. I think that this is it. I think that this is it. Get out of here, runes! Get freaking out of here! I didn't even do the math! I did not even do the math! You should have gotten in for one more rune! I hate you, runes! You're the new rogues! Get out of here! There is no better feeling than to gobble up on some runes, you know? Just, I didn't even do the math! Still, I got them exactly! Like, freaking exactly! Okay, game. So, I beat runes, I'm one step away from Diamond Tier 3, and this is what happens? You're searching for the perfect opponent for me? Yeah! Okay, tin foil hat, you can, you can rest here. Opponent's going first, but that is alright. As long as you find one single land, we're good, you know? One single land. It's mono red. Okay, interesting. Each of virtue. Alrighty. I will go with the double fire blade charger here. Eacher of virtue. Interesting. Patchwork automaton. Interesting. I will push my fire blade charger into freaking oblivion. Will I attack? Yes, yes I will. We need to get in for the tasty damage, you know? Next turn, I will play Blizzard, uh, Bl Lizard Blades and Fire Blade Charger. And then, put the Angel Fire Ignition onto my Lizard Blades. Oh, really now? Really now? Yeah, get out of here, Mozode. You're shocking my... You're playing shock? You're playing shock? That is so weird to me. That is just so weird to me. All right, that is a pretty good combo, you know? Just... A very, very good combo, if I've ever seen one. Alrighty, alrighty. We're still getting in there, because we do have the Angel Fire Ignition for the next turn. So, do you have another shock? Do you now? Well, that is also a good card to have here. Mono Red Enchantments. Oh yeah, 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 that is totally fine, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Why not? Why the heck not, you know? Oh my lord, game. Seriously. <laughs> the shenanigans that we're up against once more. Just the freaking shenanigans that we're up against once more. Okay. Well, that is nice. But you know, this is just nicer. This is just freaking nicer. Okay. 
So next turn I will go with my blade historian, then what? Then what? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I also have another angel fire ignition. So I might also go with that. We'll have to find out. I mean, I'm back to 15 life. I think that slamming in some white here was just a better choice for the angel fire ignition. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, everything went their way already. It's time to stop, Mozode. It is time to stop. The thundering Raiju, that is pretty nice, you know? That indeed is pretty nice. But I don't care about it. I really freaking don't. Because I still have enough, you know, that is just... This is just enough. It is just enough. They will block here with the patchwork automaton. I will hit them once and they scoop! Get out of here, Mono Red Artifacts! Get out of here! It was the perfect opponent for us. It really was. Oh, delicious. Freaking delicious. Mmm. These two games felt really good. Oh, it's still so weird. Not playing a freaking Arkin in a white deck. You should always do that, my friends. You always should. Are we going first? What is this, Krimis? Yeah, it sure looks like Krimis. Alrighty, we go with the Kumano here. Because, you know, having a Fire Blade Charger as a 2-2 is always good. Please don't be Orzov. That is like the worst thing that could happen to us. I have no clue what we're up against. But it's alright. You know what? Let's go with the Kargan Intimidator. I know I'm missing maybe out on two damage, but it's still alright if they play a creature here. If their own Kumano. Okay, interesting. But why did they shock it? Or Shamley Boy? Alright, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever that was, I don't mind. I really don't. Okay. We go with another red because we have a white here. I will be attacking in with everything. Alright. In that case, let's make another Kargan Intimidator go hit the field. Because, you know, that means that we can pay it twice. And if they have two creatures, we can get rid of all of them. And we will see what they're doing here. A Shadow Skull Charger? That's... Interesting, to say the least. Pretty interesting, to say the least. We are attacking in with everything. I do have the Iganjo, so... I like it. I really do. And if they're not doing anything here, I can still play my Thunderous Orator. I have no clue what we're up against, but this is a pretty good move. A pretty good move. Let me see. I'm giving this plus one, plus one. Getting rid of the, uh, of the Shutter Scale Charger like this is still alright. And I will just do this now. I will play the Iganjo. Alright, I should have played before. Maybe think about my decisions a little bit more. But I haven't, okay? Sue me. Sue me. So etching off Kumano. What is your grand scheme? What is your master plan? Etching off Kumano, where's etching off Kumano? The Ranger class, eh? Okay. Yeah, that is still alright, you know. It can't be attacking in here. So that is pretty good. You get trample. Four blockers. Which one don't I like? This one I don't like. Alright. So what you gonna do now? They block the fire blade charger. 
That would be like the smartest thing. You can oh you can, you can. Alright. And bam! I don't know, I was just so, so sorry for the silence, but I wasn't even sure if they why did they block here? Why I didn't even do the math once more. Math is for blockers. Get out of here. That was just super freaking weird. I have, I don't understand what just happened. All right, Yusuke. We're going first. Oh my lord. I love it. I really do. So we go in Luminaric Aspirant here. And a bam, Venerable Warsinger. They will never see it coming. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, why has there always be to be one freaking mill deck every single time? Every single freaking time! Oh no! But you know, oh come on, really? Now watch them play the freaking. Okay, they don't, they don't. That is good. That is at least something, you know? That at least is something. Okay. Well, we're kind of still okay with it, you know? Kind of still freaking okay with it. So, <laughs> this is still crazy. Freaking crazy. We just need to get in for all the freaking damage in the known universe. And if we get a Blade of Star in here, if, are you kidding? Why do we always go up against the luckiest Mildex in the known universe? What is this? What the heck is this? Holy smokes. Please give me a land here. Please just give me a freaking land here. Oh, they still have stuff, you know? They still do have stuff. Insane. In. Freak insane. Alright. We're of course putting it here. And we are attacking in. It will not freaking block. Yeah, I kind of expected it to be honest. Kind of freaking expected it. Of course they have a fading up. Turn three. We're almost down half of our library already. That is just bananas. That is just literally freaking bananas. I cannot believe it. I just don't want to believe it. Holy smokes. Yeah, mill me another nine cards. Just like that. How is it that mill decks are so freaking efficient right now that there's nothing you can do if they... Three ruin crabs? Really? Really, game. Really. Now watch them have another fading hope. Just watch them have it. Watch them freaking have it. There's no way they don't. No way they don't have another one. Well, that, that is not another one. That is absolutely all right with me. Okay. Good, good. So what will I get myself here? Of course the Blade Historian. Yes. And I will play another Venerable War Singer. Now here goes nothing. If they cannot mill us to death here, we win. If they can mill us to death here, well then, they like... As it already says to death, we're dead. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. Another nine cards. Oh my lord. What are the chances that they don't have, like, another mill spell here? Sixteen cards left on turn freaking five. Yeah. Here you go. Good game, my friend. What a scam. Why? Like, if I play mill, this never happens. I never draw three freaking ruin crabs. Never! And they did not miss a single land drop. Game, get out of Get far, far away. Three ruined crabs. Oh, screw you, game. Screw you. You're, you're a dirty, dirty game. Get out of here. You know, this just shouldn't happen. Three of ruined crab. Not missing a land drop. Having everything. Then even the Tasha's idiots. There's a limit game, you know. There's a freaking limit. And you should know your limits. And it is this. It is this, you know. The freaking triple ruin crab. Just unbelievable. Just... I, I cannot believe it. Triple freaking ruin crab. Like, what the heck, man? What the freaking heck? Alright. Whatever. What? Whatever. I'm doing this now because I can still get rid of it with the Kami's Flare. So yeah, I just need to make sure that I can block this. 
before they do any shenaniganry. Okay, they're a pretty good deck. I have to say, I know this deck and I know that it is pretty good. Alright, but you know what's also pretty good? Having two freaking Luminarch Aspirants. Alright. And alright. I still have the Kami's Flare for if they have like a, uh, you know, a removal here. And if they do, well, that's good for them. But if they don't, well, it's good for us, you know? So I can block this hopeful initiate. If they have the, uh, Brutal Cathar, exactly what I was waiting for. Exactly what I was waiting for. I knew it. There is no fool in me, is there now? No, there ain't. No, the frickin' ain't. Alrighty. What is this? <laughs> what the heck is this? We're still doing this now. Like... <laughs> oh my lord. Do you have another one? Do you now? Do you now? We're still only getting in there for one freaking uh, damage here. But you know we have another Luminarch aspiring in our hand. It's just bananas. Just freaking bananas. So... The Sigurda. Interesting. Pretty interesting, I have to say. No blocks. No freaking blocks. Alright. Putting one here. And putting some here. For later, you know. So now they cannot be attacking anymore. Uh, if you control three or more creatures with different power, look at the top five cards. They do not. They do not. But maybe they will afterwards. We'll have to see. But they cannot be attacking in anymore. We do have the Shodan of the Skull, so that is also pretty nice. And we can just pump this Battlefield Raptor into freaking oblivion. So what you doing here? You're attacking with the Sigurda. Peculiar. Freaking peculiar. Alright. I'm not blocking. See what they're doing afterwards. They might have another Eganjo, you know? That is... Like, they never not only have one. Never not. Another hopeful initiate. Okay. A land. We will keep that for now. And we will see what we're getting here. How many lands we will draw. Yeah. <laughs> I was so certain that we will draw an enormous amount of lands here. Okay. We're putting it all on the Battlefield Raptor. And later on we just Angel Fire Ignition. Oh, they might have an answer for the Battlefield Raptor here though. They might have it, you know. There's a huge chance that they do. But, uh, you know, with the uh, Angel Fire Ignition I'm still happy. One, two, three, four, one, two, three... Yeah, we cannot do it twice. Sadly, we cannot. They might have this one spell that destroys creatures with power four or greater, you know? There is a possibility. There's also a possibility that it just destroyed the Shodan of the Skulls. Which I wouldn't care too much about. Okay. Well, that is good for us. That is pretty good for us. Because we still do have all of the stuff, you know? We still do have it. So... You're tacking in with your Sigurda now? You're tacking in with everything. Interesting. I'm pretty sure they have an Iganjo. Like, so certain. So freaking certain. Okay. Getting rid of you is good. So I'm doing that. I'm so certain they have an Iganjo. If they do, we're dead. Aren't we? No, we're not. Okay. Yeah. That is... That is still alright. That is absolutely still freaking alright. I'm getting so much life here now. What are they ever supposed to do? If they like 
do nothing but get rid of my battlefield raptor, I still get so much life with my venerable warsinger afterwards. So it's all still good, you know? They get in for 10. Not more. Only 10. Here. Oh no, they get in for more. So I have to block even. I even have to freaking block. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What are you doing? Are you seriously attacking with everything? If you are, you are kind of dead. Only attack in with the Segurda. They are attacking in with everything. That is so crazy to me. That is literally freaking crazy to me. I think we got them here. I think we do. You know, into the fire ignition. Well, we'll have to see if it is enough. It is not enough. It is not freaking enough. Holy smokes. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is enough. It is enough. I get to seven. They can only block with three here. So, what do you have for one green? What do you have for one single green? Oh, my lord. Is this exact lethal once more? Did we really get another exact freaking lethal once more? That is bananas. What do they have for one green? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? The two life. Does this really only cost one? That is so crazy to me. That is so freaking crazy to me. Well, I'm still going back to a lot of life. So that is pretty good. And uh, yeah, we would see what they're doing here now. We can block these hopeful initiates now. We do have the uh, Cave of the Frost Dragon afterwards. Hwa! What a game! They cannot be attacking with the Brutal Cathar, otherwise they will lose it. So this is Trample. So let's... let's pretend like we're getting... Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What the heck, man? What the freaking heck? Okay, come on, attack in with everything. Just do it. Just freaking do it. Just... Well... That is already more than enough. Pass to blocks. Blocking here like this. This gives them to get through for eight. All right. Yeah. We still have the cave, you know. We still do have the cave. So I'm not afraid here. Yeah, for one white man, what are they even supposed to do here? What are they even supposed... Get out of here with your two Samuel safekeeping. Just get freaking out of here. Just... Come on, man. Come on now. Feel my rage after the freaking mill deck. Stupid mill deck. Mmm. These games are going so fast. I was certain that we would get more than six games in today. Pokey tax. Don't you tax my poking. All right, the opponent's going first. Do I like it? Not really. Another mono red. Come on now, game. Seriously? Is that all you got for me today? Two mono reds? Is it because I'm playing some red myself? That is just crazy talk. All right, we go with the Kumano. And this time we will be going with the Five Blade Charger because we don't have another land, so yeah. We could also go with the Lizard Blade. Let's... Now we can't. Maybe we find a land. Who knows? All right, they're just doing the reinforced run and thing. All over again. All right. Do you have a shock in hand, my friend? Do you have it? You have to tell me if you do. Oh, we could go with the uh, we could go with the lizard blades here. So let's let's go with the lizard blades. I think they have a shock. Yeah, they have a shock. One million percent. Yeah, Sag, Sag. Well, it's a play with fire. It's still kind of a shock, you know. Still kind of a shock. Could have, should have played around it. But, you know, we do have the fire Angel Fire Ignition in our hand, so it's all good. And if that is all they're doing all day long, well, that is still all right by me, you know. We'll see how many more play with fires they have. We'll just have to see. All right, so now we get three creatures on the board, which is super good. Bringing down you. And we're bringing down you. 
putting on a fire blade charger. They will have to have a choice here. We sadly cannot be attacking in. Let's give him a friendly waver of the hand. Nice. Thanks. I don't know why they danced around like this. I just don't know. But, uh, yeah. Maybe it was, like, totally worth it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they still have more. Still have freaking more. Yeah, I don't care about that. You know why? Because Angel freaking Fire Ignition. So, let's go ahead. Get in here for some tasty freaking life swing. Mmm, mmm. Now I have a 4-4 on the field. Good game, good game. Whatever. Do, do, you, do you really think it was a good game? Or are you just saying that for courtesy reasons? I don't think it was a good game for you, was it now? The Gatekeeper Cemetery. Alright, they're getting rid of my Angel Fire Ignition. That is fine by me, you know. Really freaking fine by me. Alright. So I'm doing it like this. I'm bringing down the Cargan Intimidator. Now I'm still attacking in. Like if they want to block here, that is still a lot of freaking damage coming their way, you know? And if we find another freaking land, oh, we're so happy. We're so happy. So, is it a good game now? Is it? Is it, my friend? We'll have to find out. The Dominating Vampire. What? Is this mono red vampires? That is so weird to me. So freaking weird to me. Okay. We're getting rid of this one. We'll get exiled, so that is pretty sweet. Alright. We aren't getting any freaking lands. Which is a little bit bad, you know? Considering the whole freaking situation. Alright. Did they get us? Do they have another dominating vampire? If they do, I'm going to be a little bit mad, you know? Just, just a little bit mad. That, that would be very, very annoying. They do. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. Come on now. Really. They really do. They really freaking do. What the heck, man? What the freaking heck? They really did. But you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. Wow, they really had another one. Good game now. Good game. Get out of here. Get freaking out of here. Minus 12 damage. Mono red pepper. They really, they really found it, you know? They really found another one. That is so crazy to me. Get, get out of here, game. Get out of here. So I just had somebody not show up to a game. I was sitting here for like... Two and a half minutes talking like the idiot that I am to myself. I mean, I kind of was talking to you, but I will not show you somebody not showing up. Like, they started the game, they went first. Did not play a land. I played a land. They did not play a land. What is this? What is with people that queue into a game just not to show up? Don't be that person. All right, we're going first, and I really, really like this hand. So we can go Fireblade Charger into Cargan Intimidator. With our Cave of the Frost Dragon. Then go Venerable Warsinger. Seems good. Seems pretty good. Alrighty. The Eye Twitch. Okay. That is still alright. Like, we do have the Angel Fire Ignition here even. Well, I hear... No, I don't. I don't. I think I'm going with the Angel Fire Ignition. Please don't play a white. Don't play... It's... Okay, Demir. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. So, Angel Fire Ignition. You're up. Don't have a counter spell. Don't be that guy. Really now? Really now? Okay, they do have a counter spell. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? Not much, you know? Just not much. I could have thought about it before, but I haven't. So yeah, boo on me. Boo on me. But maybe they missed a land drop now. There is a chance. No, okay, there isn't. There isn't a chance. Okay. That is alright by me still. Like... Go with the card draw. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. We'll be going with the Fireblade Charger, Angel Fire Ignition move once more. There's no reason not to, you know? No reason to. Like next turn, we can attack the Kaido. That is pretty good. 
we'll see what they're doing. Like, we can use the Luminarc and still two modes, you know? And that is pretty good. It's like your defenses. And give it trample. So, yeah. I'm still okay with everything here. Green now as well? What? Okay. Well, you do you, my friend. Here to you. Alrighty. So. I don't want a shamley boy. I don't want you. And I'm attacking a Kaido. Good. Good. Seems fine. Everything about this seems fine. Could still have a Meat of Massacre next turn. Which would be like super bad, you know? Just super freaking bad. Alright, if they're blocking like this, that is... Still kind of fine by me, you know? Just do this. They don't die. They don't even have to give trample. Alright. Good, good. So, exactly what I wanted here right now. Time to go. So... I keeping up the mana so that I can still give this plus one, you know? Just in case. If they're going with the uh, pass summoning here, it would be a little bit annoying. Okay. But if that is all they do, the binding of the old gods. Oh no. What? All right, well, there's nothing I can do about that, is there? Is there now? All right, I can still attack it with a five blade charger here. And I freaking will. First things first, we're doing this. Now I'm attacking with the Fire Blade Charger. Could still have it, you know. So let's do this now. Just to make sure that we find stuff that we like. Is this honestly almost only freaking lands? Wow, game. Wow. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. I drew three out of four lands. With already like six lands on the field. That is bananas. Freaking bananas. Alright, they do have the Loth here. It doesn't concern me too much, you know. Just a little bit. But I really hope that I would find an Angel Fire Ignition here. That would have been the sauce. But it ain't. There is no sauce for us. Just no sauce. Alright. Just no freaking sauce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could do it for four. For freaking four. So let's pump our freaking venerable war singer here as much as we can. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. What I could do it for five. Why am I so bad at math sometimes? Why the heck am I so bad at math sometimes? And we're doing this. So. We are attacking in here. If they block, that is fine by me. They really shouldn't be. Really shouldn't be blocking. Holy smokes. What a game. How many lands? Only lands, as they call it. Only lands. So if they cannot get rid of my venerable war singer here, we're pretty good. If they can, we're pretty bad. I forgot that this also deals damage to each planeswalker. <laughs> I just forgot about that part. I just did. Okay. Well, that is fine by me. They make themselves a treasure. If they get us here now with the freaking Meatog Massacre, I'm going to be super mad. Super mad. I mean, they could. They don't. They freaking don't. All right. But what do you have, my friend? What do you freaking have? I have so many things on the field. Some of them are bound to go through, you know? Just freaking bound to. All right, we're putting this one here. Do you really have an answer? Do you really now? Well, we'll have to find out. We'll have to frickin' find out. P 
put in this one here, because the Thunderous Orator gets it anyways. So that is pretty good. So they will have to make a freaking choice here. They cannot block everything, you know? Well, that is pretty smart. That indeed is pretty smart. But not smart enough. I'm still getting the double strike here. Holy smokes, what a game. Seriously. What a freaking game. If they really had the freaking Infernal Grasp here, that one was a little bit painful. But only a little bit, you know. So, Meatook Massacre or Bust? Meatook, freaking, Massacre or Bust? Alrighty. All freaking righty. So maybe they still have stuff, I don't know. They might, you know? They freaking had a scoop! They have nothing! They have nothing! Get out of here! Get freaking out of here! Why does there always have to be one stupid mill deck? Why? With the perfect everything. I hate it. I hate it so much. Holy moly. Also, if you're not planning on playing the game or your internet is whack on your phone, don't play the game. I was sitting here talking to myself for two and a half minutes like an idiot that I am. That wasn't cool. So, I forgot the name, but boo on you, sir. Boo or madam or three folk or whatever you are, boo on you. Buddy, buddy, I shouldn't use these close-ups to be salty. Otherwise, you will see my, like, the salt on my skin. That's no bueno. So I will just jump right over, saying thank you to my patrons and members. Starting with my Zelda Great Heart. It's Randy Campbell, Chris Stevens, Tom Tom, Vincey Mage, Vicky White, Felipe Rodriguez, CS Jeremy, my friends, Mike Ray Wolf on Mercy 88, Steve O, Empty Back, Morphe, Luis Felipe Sanchez Perez, Jet Eskivich, Lin Juan, Jose Teron, Marcario Frescas, Kelly Porris, Troy Graham, Gordu, Benedict Amanda, Aura, Jefferson, Perito, Doc Wopel, Billy Basham, Christian Rudick, Aeon, Danny Montgomery, Lucas Simmer, Jay Jackson, Ari Manazic, XV, Chad in the Trainer, Room Ganef, Troll Hog, Chris Digman, Stan Gulecki, Psycho Drain, Stan Carlson, Alessandro Peliusi, Andrew Kelly, Bernie Zofsky, Excellence, Juan Garcia, Herman Darren, Maisie, Amy Craig, Brooks, Christopher Merritt, Samura Quay, Eduardo Menes, Filio, Drake, Al, Teresa, Deslam, Chad, Riberick, and Vicky. A special thanks to our gold span dragons. Waffles, Genuine, Simpson, 65, Rico Colombo, Roli, Mark Marino, Mr. Mai, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, Jeffs, Meyer, Raven, Chips, Paul, English Wolf, Cthulhu, Ladder, Jason Brown, Silas Fox, Nick Pop, Tim Nowitzki, Odorific, Dan Martinez, Kevin Pratt, Trent Reese, James Brown, Anil Hale, Tim and Jeremiah, Willard, Jones, Joe, Joe, Travel Art, RHCP76, Brett W, Adam Chaka, Orion Winterfire, Dan Roma, Pathios, Kristen Armstrong, Griner, Glass Onion, Ever Nothing, Load 6, Alessandro Maschi, Sandra Mark, Chris F, James Ferguson, M Matthew Nunu, Simon Blood, John, and Helena Treader. And special thanks to Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Chris Katowski, Grandov, William Smith, The Lacrime, Ryan O'Reilly, Malchija, Quick Sneal, Jonathan Zawa, Brown Beard II, Man's Room Louie, Matthew Donovan, Mike Mike, The Mike Mike, William Whitehead, and Greg Barl. Thank you also very freaking much for going the X and my supporting channel with the hard on cash. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very freaking much. There's so much I couldn't do without all of your help. Every new set, all of the shebang, nothing. And if you want to support the channel directly, there's so many things you can do. First off, of course, you can check out the Patreon and the membership. They're below every single video. There's a link in every description. There's a button below every single video. You can even donate directly to the channel. Sometimes it happens. Out of the blue I get it like a notification that it happened. But there's so many other things that you can do. Like freaking subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything. It is free. And like that you will help me get into more eyes. And into the more eyes I get, the freaking better. One day we will hit the 20k. And then you can be here and say, hey, I was here for such a long time already. It's crazy. It is crazy to me. It is crazy to a lot of you. And I'm very freaking happy about it that we're in this all together in a nice way, not in a bad way. So thank you also very freaking much. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like the video and also join the Discord. Become part of the Malone family there. Oh, my Lord. These shameless plucks in the end get more and more shameless. So, thank you also very freaking much. Today was crazy good. Like, I did the Orisov deck before. It was super fun. What did beat us? A stupid mill deck. 
I built this deck. What did beat us? A stupid freaking mill deck. But you know, if they have a frostbite, three freaking ruin crabs, if they have all of the uh, return target creature to hand fading hope things, what would you do? But just scoop. Stupid ruin crab, he really needs to go. Also, it is a little bit sad. There is no really, no real like graveyard protection, you know? We had the Gaia's Blessing before. That was pretty good against Mill. I know it was only in green, but at least you had something. You had cards that made you shuffle your graveyard back into your library. The one of, what was it? I forgot the name. But you know, there was a blue card. It still was kind of stuff you could do against getting milled. Right now there's nothing you can do against getting milled. There's just, just nothing you can do about it. If they draw right, you're dead in five turns. Nothing you can freaking do about it. So I feel like, you know, it's still mill, you know, it's still not the easiest win con. But it is a little too easy right now. Even with rogues back then, getting milled took a long freaking time. Now it's like, what, five turns, six turns and you're milled out? No bueno. No bueno. So please, wizards, in the next set, new Capanna, give us something to counter activate against Mwil. I would appreciate that very much. And so would everyone else. So thank you all so very freaking much. Let me know what you think of the Fire of Angels in the comments. Like it is just such a fun deck. It is such a nice way of being super aggressive. I freaking love it. And so should you. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.